This video explains how to create a subset of a pandas data frame in the Python programming language. So without much talk, let's dive into the Python code. In this video, I will show you several examples and for all of these examples, we need to import the pandas library as you can see in the first line of code. And then we also need to create an example data frame using the data frame constructor, as you can see in the next part of the code. So in these lines of code, I'm creating a new data set called data, and I'm printing this data set below the code box using the print function. So after running these lines of code, you can see that we have created a new data set containing seven rows and three columns, which are called x1, x2, and x3. Now let's assume that we want to create a data frame subset using a logical condition. Then we can apply the code that you can see in the next code box. So in this case, I'm using the log attribute, and then I'm specifying within square brackets that I want to extract only those rows of our original data set where the column x3 is larger or equal to the value 2. And then I'm storing the output of this in a new data set that I'm calling data range, and I'm printing this data frame below the code box. So as you can see, after running these lines of code, we have created a new data frame subset, which contains only some of the rows of our input data frame. And in this case, we have kept only those rows where the column X3 is greater or equal to the value two. It's also possible to extract a random subset from our data frame, as I will show you in the next example, starting in the fourth code box. And in this line of code, I'm first importing the NumPy library. And then I'm using the random.seed function of the NumPy library to set a random seed for reproducibility. And then in the next step, I'm using the sample function. And within this function, I'm specifying that I want to select a fraction of our data frame of 50% of the rows from our data frame. And I'm storing the output of the sample function in a new data set that I'm calling data sample. We can also print this data set below the code box using the print function. And now you can see that we have created a random subset from our example data frame, which contains only 50% of the rows of our input data frame. It is also possible to create a subset of a data frame based on the columns of this data frame. So in this case, I want to show you how to extract only two columns of our data frame by their column names. And we can do that as you can see in the seventh code box. So in this case, I'm using double square brackets. And within these double square brackets, I'm specifying the column names that I want to extract. So in this case, I want to extract the columns x1 and x3 from our input data frame. As in the previous examples, I'm creating a new data set based on this output, which I'm calling data calls, and I'm printing this data set below the code box. So as you can see, after running these lines of code, we have created a data frame subset, which contains all the rows of our input data frame, but only some of the columns. So in this case, we have kept the columns X1 and X3, but we have removed the column X2. That's all I wanted to explain in this video. In case you want to learn more on this topic, you may check out my homepage, statisticsglobe.com, because on my homepage, I have recently published a tutorial in which I'm explaining the content of this video in some more detail. I will put a link to this tutorial into the description of the video, so you can find it there. If you have liked this video, or if you have any questions, let me know in the comments section below. I'll try to respond to all comments as soon as I can. Furthermore, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notified about future video releases. I have already published about 500 videos on this channel and I'm releasing new videos on a daily basis. Thanks a lot for watching. See you in the next video.